Hi guys, today we will make a cyclone filter for vacuum cleaner from available materials. Let's begin. We need a plastic bottle with a large neck. Cut off the top part in the widest place. I cut it with the reserve. Take a small plastic container and try on the bottle. It should be worn on it with an overlap of 1-2 cm. Then cut off the lower part. It should be something like this, but in my case there were several versions and I just put one in the other. For a more reliable connection wrap the tape. Next take the container from under the discs. On the side I drilled a hole in which to insert a flexible drain hose but better hose with smooth inner walls. A hole for the vacuum cleaner hose is drilled in the center. This container is almost perfectly connected to the top of the container. For a tight connection I wood the tape. In general the connection is good, but better I'll make some clamps. Insert the hose into the hole. Bend and fix with hot melt glue. The hose from a vacuum cleaner was inserted very densely, and I will not seal connection. Begin the build process. This big white lid with a hole is printed on a 3D printer. The hole is equal to the outside diameter of the bottle thread. It is inserted and fixed inside the lid. You can use any container to collect garbage. I took with a diameter approximately equal to other parts of the cyclone filter, since the device will hang on the wall. Connect the two parts together. To do this, I modeled and printed the special clamps. You can take small pieces of wire or even hot glue if you do not disassemble. Holding steady. In order to hang on the wall, I first fix everything on small sheet of plywood. By the way, this old vacuum cleaner has not been used for a long time, but it works perfectly. I'll mount it next to the cyclone filter. I'll be fixing all the parts with plastic ties. In my opinion, this is the easiest and fastest way. The width of the clamps about 4 mm, so drill holes 4 mm. I will mount in three places, countersing the holes to avoid burrs. Fix the vacuum. I will attach the structure to the wall with four screws. The top mount I then moved above, for the convenience of removing the dust filter. Not always want to get a big vacuum cleaner to clean the work area. And this design does not take up space on the floor and saves time. Just reach out. The corrugated hose is too wide, and the suction force is not enough for the screw. Almost all the garbage got into the filter.
Dust container can be used and screwed at any time. Shake out the garbage and set back. In principle, such a hose is enough, but it is better not to use such a corrugation, since all heavy particles remain in the hollows. I remade the cone part, shortening it by about two times. This again a box for compact discs, only smaller. I have here a piece of hose from an old washing machine, and this came in handy. This time all the holes will be on top. This hose I found in the workshop, and it is ideally suited to the vacuum cleaner. It turned out compact. I connect a long hose, also from the washer, and now tests. Hmm, it's not a pleasant sound. That hose won't work either. In general, the design turned out to work, but you only need to pick up a hose with a smooth inner surface. You can do without the conical top, and immediately make two holes for hoses in the lid of the garbage container. Perhaps this is all. I will be glad if this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Bye.